and when I get to the, the, the far right hand side, automation um there's obviously lots you can automate but there's a big focus at the moment on how you can re-trigger and retrain your models automatically so some but not all applications are very lucky to have a natural feedback mechanism if you're lucky enough to have the situation where your users are actually providing you with feedback um either in the form of new data or or in the form of you know yes that was a good result yes that was a good prediction something like that you can use that information uh to to retrain your models and improve them over time and you can then automate that process to make sure that uh, these new models are at least as good as the old models and once you've got that feedback cycle in place then you kind of don't need to touch it anymore until you need to make some large architectural changes to your model um, so I, I, I think that, you know, that's certainly optimal, but it's not, it's not the place where most companies are at the moment. Um, most companies are still, you know, either retraining manually or sort of retraining based upon a cron schedule, like once a day or something. Um, and that, that actually works. Okay. You know, I, uh, I, I haven't, I haven't come across a specific example where it's been, it's been it's obvious that doing this continuously is is really valuable but i'm sure i'm sure it is so for for the for the people like uh, the you know the amazons of the world or the googles of the world that are working with 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 algorithms that are used um uh to uh, at, at such a scale I, I i could well believe that these are really important but well, um for a smaller you, company yeah sorry go on. you described as not doing it yeah why they're not doing it is it it's not the lack of availability of tools um or or the why why are they not doing it it's it comes down to a value it comes down like how valuable is it like yeah. if we don't retrain that model every yeah. so even, imagine just a simple cron schedule if we don't retrain that model every day then mm -hmm. you know what what's going to happen like nothing we're, we're going to lose a little bit of performance we might lose a tiny bit on the on, on the uh, you know, some whatever metric you're measuring to, to kind of measure these things. Uh, but at the end of the day, we've got bigger problems elsewhere that are far more important than doing that. <laughs> but then also in those cases, and I totally agree with you, you know, just to do that by, um, because somehow it's a best practice, actually it might not be delivering that much value. In, in, yeah, exactly. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But there might equally be cases where there's loads of value and right. it remains unidentified. Um, and uh, and even if some person believes it, can he articulate that to the organisation surrounding or something like that? Yeah, yeah, totally agree.